Hey guys, my name is Chris Morano. If you're looking to figure out how to use Google Ads using ChatGPT, well, then you're in the right place. I'm going to go through some amazing use cases for ChatGPT and Google Ads. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Chris Morano, founder of Blue Water Marketing, Savage Man Grooming, a couple other things, work with a number of e-commerce stores, and in this video, I'm hopping on the bandwagon. Created a ChatGPT video on how to not use it for search engine optimization, which you can find right up here. But in this video, we're going into Google Ads, browsing some of these private Facebook groups I'm in, and one of the things that I found was absolutely remarkable. We're gonna get into that right now. This is not gonna be your typical, but my Agency runs, I don't know, $100,000 plus per month of Google Ads. And we're always looking for KPIs that can help us quickly pivot our ad strategy based on our clients' results. So I was browsing one of my Facebook groups the other day. It was in reference to Google Ads and Google Ad Strategies. So shout out to Randy James. He got my mind thinking based on a post that he put out about Google Ads scripts. If you guys aren't familiar with Google Ads scripts, they're basically different automations that you can implement by using these scripts. So I want to show you one real quick. We're going to go into ChatGPT Plus. Model is the GPT-4, which just came out a few weeks ago. So I want to create. So as you guys can see, I just gave a simple prompt. I want to create a Google Ads script that will label high cost per clicks that are outside the normal range. It said to create a Google Ads script that labels keywords with high cost per click values that are outside the normal range, you'll need to define a threshold, which of course, every different account is different. So what we'll do is think about personal injury attorneys, which are the highest cost per click, I believe of any industry, you're looking at $300, $320 per click. What we're going to test this on is inside, while it writes this, because GPT-4 is a little bit slower, we're going to do it into our BWM branding campaign, which is top impression share campaign. Based on columns, we can look, performance, absolute, top impression share, and you guys can see we are doing well there at a 94% and a 98%. So let's go back into GPT-4. Still writing, so we'll speed this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this copy code. For those of you who don't know how to use scripts, we're going into Tools and Settings, Scripts. <laughs> New script. Now, what we're going here, get all enabled campaigns in this account, Campaign iterator adds app dot campaigns with condition status enabled. That means basically any enabled campaign will now get this label under the Blue Water Marketing Parent account. Loop through all the campaigns, get all keywords in the campaign with a click cost above $5. So I'm actually going to shift this. If you guys are finding this video useful, helpful, if you think you're going to use this thing, go ahead, smash that thumbs up. Let's get back into the video. So just to test this, I'm going to do three dollars and 75 cents because our average cost per click for this campaign is four dollars it's a simple branding campaign so that anyone searches for blue water marketing we should appear number one i want to see if this works condition cost five greater than five we actually want to do 375 Print the name of the keywords in the log and apply the high cpc label if necessary campaign name plus get plus keyword cost all time, meaning it's going to compare against all time to get the cost. Add app, apply high PC label to keywords with a cost greater than five dollars. We're once again switching it to 375. All right, so we're going to change it from unnamed to high CPC label. We're going to preview it. So, as you can see, status enabled. We are good. We're going to hit run now as it's applying. All right, now what we're going to do, we're all set there and go back into Google Ads. Go to the ad group, search keywords. Obviously, we're doing an exact match. No big deal. Columns, label, apply. And there it is. High CPC. So now, if we had one of our major campaigns, which I can show you how effective this would be, 
if we had one of these campaigns where we see just hundreds and hundreds of keywords that we're working in, you can see how effective that would be. Obviously, as a test, I just wanted to see what was going to happen by implementing the label and seeing that that 375 is categorizing a high cost per click. Obviously, we know that because average CPC is 354, 496, 611, bringing us in at an average for $4.13. So that is a remarkable way to use Google Ads scripts. Having ChatGPT, I'm not a developer. I can kind of read code, but I don't know and would never know how to write this. So let's quickly test another one. Please create a Google Ads script that will automate a bid increase of 25 cents if the keyword's absolute top impression share is less than 90% and the conversion rate is higher than 3%. Let's see what it comes up with. Remember guys, when you're creating these and if you go and test this, scripts are gonna be super important, but the prompts are going to be even more important. The label one is simple. This one is going to be completely different where we are starting to incorporate a level of automation based on these scripts. That is going to be extremely important. That's why we have 25 cents. I don't care if we spend 25 cents more. It's going to be really, really important. If you guys find this useful, if you're interested in digital marketing, if you're an e-commerce store owner, especially if you're an e-commerce store owner, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and leave a comment down below on any questions you might have in regards to how to use ChatGPT for Google Ads. As you see this script being written, you're seeing it taking the last 30 days. So if you have a seasonal business, open that up, change that last 30, last 60, whatever that time frame looks like. All right, so what it's telling us is campaign name contains anytime insert campaign name here, we're gonna wanna change it to campaign name. So we're gonna copy this code. We're gonna go back here. BWM branding is the campaign name. So we're gonna go into this tools and settings, scripts. So we're gonna change it from unnamed script to impression share increase CPC. Authorize. We are going to that, paste this in. Insert campaign name here, BWM branding. Bid increase amount, 25 cents. Absolute top impression share threshold, 90. Conversion rate threshold, 3%. Preview. Run. I finished with errors. So there's an issue is not a function. Okay, so that percentage is different. So perfect use case. The first one was a super easy script. Add a label to a column on any keyword with a cost per click that is higher than the average. This one is a script to run automation. I hope you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining at least. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's video. Subscribe, get notified. We'll see you in the next video.